Hello, this video is to show you how to upload pictures or videos using email on your phone. Many of you like to take pictures of your art or your work from your phone so that it's easier to get a good angle, but how do you get it from your phone to your Google Drive? The key is, if you're going to email it, you have to have the student's email on the phone. You cannot email it to a student from another email. The way that Urban Discovery works is we have to use an email within our own system. So you have to, for a student to receive an email, it has to come from within the system. So a teacher or another student or themselves. So that's the workaround. They're going to email it to themselves. So before you start, make sure you have added your student's Gmail account and email so that you can do this process. Alrighty, once you have that on there, we are going to take the picture. So let's take a look at the best way to take the picture. I have my artwork down here on the table. I want to have really nice lighting, so lots of lights on, or if you can get in front of a window that has sunshine coming in, that works even better. So also try to get it nice and flat. If you need to tape it down to help it from curling up, do that. Next, you're gonna grab your phone and you're going to open up your picture app. So whatever that looks like, whatever kind of phone you have, do that. Now, try to get your uh, camera almost right over your artwork, but leave a little bit of wiggle room around it so we can crop it down. Take your picture. Okay, I know I took it, it's right there. Now, go in and open up that email account. So for me, I'm gonna go to my UDA account, not my own personal accounts, my UDA account, and I'm going to compose a message, and I'm gonna send this to myself. So it's coming from Jay Rushton, it's gonna to go to Jay Rushton at Urban Discovery, or urbansd.com. And I'm just gonna call it picture. And then however your phone, however you insert images, do that. I know with iPhone, if you hold and press down, Oops, I always do this. Hold and press down and then go over, insert photo, select the photo you want. And then once you go to send it, it's gonna ask you what size. I tend to just do a medium. We don't need a huge image here. All right, once you've sent that, you're going to go over to your computer. So let's see what we're gonna look like. All right, so here's our computer. What we wanna do is get to our email, or your student's email account, your student's Gmail account. And you're gonna notice, when well, I've done this multiple times, you're, that you have emailed the picture to yourself. It should say from me or your name. And here's the image. I want you to first just click on the image and it's gonna open up a preview move the picture and over here you have some options um, what i like to do is just add it directly to my google drive by using the google image here this little triangle you can also download it to your computer but then you have to go and find it so i'm just going to tap on that it adds it to my drive like magic now we have the image on our computer so what we do is if you are going into your google classroom Find your STEAM weekly assignment that you're working on and move my picture. Over here, you're going to see that we have attached a set of slides in your assignment and it should have your name on it. So once you click on that, it's gonna open up this slideshow that says, turn in your STEAM work. Okay, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Whichever activity you're working on, whether that was activity one, two, or three, go to that slide and it says insert picture or video here. All right, so insert, that's your reminder to go over here to go insert image. And remember, we added it to our drive. So it's right there, you click on drive and it should pop up right over here. All right, so click on it, insert, and it's gonna throw it onto this slide. Now, a couple things you might have to do. You notice I took a picture and it was sideways. That's what this little circle is for. You grab that little circle, you're going to get to rotate your picture, your image, so that it goes this way. Another thing that you could do, remember I said don't take your picture right up against your artwork? Now what we can do is use this and crop the image right down to your artwork. 
remember the key here is we're trying to just show our work, not all the extra stuff. So we want to get as close to it as we can, oops, without cutting off too much. Once you have it cropped where you like it, just hit the enter or return button on your keyboard. Let's make this bigger. Always grab the corners, never enlarge using the sideways. It'll stretch out your artwork. Ah, we don't want that, so undo that. All righty, and that is how you insert a picture using email from your phone. Always let me know if you have questions or ask if you need help.